for you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is our first project. Yeah. And after that, yeah, learning. And uh, he seems to have a place that probably this is Guinea. The volunteers were in the street to his house. Staying out of the water and that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, one question. Yes, bandit and got them off. No, it's, it's not broken. Yes, they are not to cause an inflammation there. So what they might have to do might just roll it up. Is that another one? No. That's yes, it's sore. So sometimes you find they have yes other ulcers from other means as well. Yeah. yeah. But then she just has on the leg. Depends on just if there is secondary infection, infection. it could take longer than two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, when, when they come through here, uh, you teach them to use the filter cloths and, and, and don't, don't drink the water, right? Yes, filter. yes, yes, we do. When we first came to Ghana, there was guinea worm all over your country, in all the provinces. Yes, if the, if the worm comes out of a joint, say in your knee, the, it swells up and destroys the tissue. So the aftermath is very similar to polio. It completely debilitates that knee, and, and sometimes the knee, is, the leg is, is crippled for the rest of one's life. And of course, these kids can't go to school. They, the pain is too great, and they need uh, medical care. And if it's an adult, they can't go into the field to plant the crops. And uh, it's a devastating blow economically, and obviously the personal pain is terrible. Mm -hmm. and, and these are innocent mm -hmm. children. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>